Hi, I'm Jessica Dizel. I'm here with Fire Chief Bryce, and we're talking about fire safety. Chief Bryce, uh, what do you have for us as far as your best fire safety tips? Okay, good. well, good morning and uh, happy holidays to, to you and everybody. Uh, well, firstly, for me, I'd ask everybody to, to go on to the uh, Okotoks Fire Department Twitter account where we're doing a countdown to Christmas. And during that, there will be fire safety tips and a little bit of uh, festive fun with some of the firefighters tell, telling some uh, jokes that maybe you would have got out of a Christmas Christmas ca uh, cracker. So one, you'll meet all of the different firefighters, but also get some really useful safety tips uh, while you're doing that. And that's um, at Okitoks Fire D E P T. Uh, so please uh, go along and uh, like the um, uh, and share the the tips. I, I will give you a little bit of insight that two of the platoons are having a little bit of a competition about who gets the most views. So I won't tell you which ones they are, but you know there is a little bit of uh, competition going on down here at the fire hall, just again to have a little bit of festive fun and break some of the monotony that sometimes we, we, we get. But yeah, you know, Christmas is coming. Um, it is, uh, you know, obviously a fantastic time for everybody, um, but we do increase the fire load on our houses, both electrically and with our trees and with presents, lots of paper around, um, lots of cooking going, going on, and also sometimes uh, uh, Alcohol is involved quite uh, probably more of, often in a, than in a normal sort of uh, few days. So all these sort of things uh, lead to um, various elements of safety that we can uh, talk about. You know, when you're doing any lights, whether it's outside, inside, on the Christmas tree, make sure you check them, make sure you check the any power bars or cords that you're going to use. And uh, again, use um, uh, one outlet for, for each uh, plug don't overload the circuit so you know just in preparation for Christmas there really um, obviously we're, we're in that time of year where we get a lot of snow if we're unfortunate enough that we do have a structure fire and uh, obviously you know that we use the water to put out the fire from the hydrants that we provide in the town and if that's covered in snow and we can't get to it that will really slow us down so when it snows, it's a good idea to make sure that you clear the hydrant a good three feet all the way around. It means that we can get straight in and access that and, you know, be able to put the fire out a little bit easier and quicker for us. Um, another good precautionary trip, uh, tip is the you know, smoke alarms and CO2 alarms. We're going to be doing extra cooking. We might have had a little tipple when we're doing the cooking and maybe forget things. And, you know, it's all good, fun uh, Christmas spirit, but, you know, taking those uh, extra steps and uh, making sure that your smoke alarm or CO alarm is working, give it a test every month, good month to do that, make sure it's working before we do that extra baking and uh, cooking that turkey, which I, I'm a big fan, I love turkey. So even though there might only be one or two of us at home, we'll be doing a 20 pound turkey. So. That'll be uh, great, uh, take an eye on that. A lot of traveling goes on over Christmas, people going and visiting, and you know, make sure that you prepare your vehicle. Uh, again, weather conditions uh, here in Canada and Alberta, you know, we know we're gonna get snow, we know it's gonna be cold, and the last thing you wanna do is be stuck in your vehicle. And as we've just seen with the um, conditions in BC and roads collapsing with flooding, obviously, we don't need any of that happening, but um, if it does, you know, there's certain things that you can have in your vehicle that'll help you. So, you know, make sure you've got booster cables, make sure you've got a, so a shovel, uh, warm clothes and blankets. Uh, you can actually get some, um, some good emergency flares, uh, food, a little bit of water, uh, candles and a flashlight. Candles helps to keep you warm and a first aid kit. Uh, and it'll help you, or if you see somebody else that needs some help, you'll be able to help them a lot better. The other thing really is, is make sure that your car's fit to tr travel. You know, it's been serviced, it's been looked after. You've got water in the, uh, for the windshield wipers. Um, so, so you can keep your screens um, 
so you can see through them with all the um, water that gets thrown up from behind the other cars. Um, smoking, uh, a lead, leading cause of fatal fires during the holidays is smoking. Um, and all too often, alcohol's involved in that. You know, people have a few too many to drink, uh, smoking, having fun, and then things can go wrong. People fall asleep while they're smoking. They lift the, leave their cigarettes unattended. They fall out of the ashtrays. Um, so, you know, provide large and deep ashtrays for smokers. We're not telling anybody to stop having fun and drinking, but, you know, mixing the two sometimes doesn't sort of work very well. And alcohol is a factor in approximately one in five fatal fires during the holidays. So we'd ask people to drink responsibly. And that includes the driving as well. Make sure that uh, uh, over this period you sort of um, put somebody as the nominated, uh, designated driver if you're going to... Uh, uh, partake in uh, alcohol and then everybody's kept safe everybody gets home safe you're not just affecting or you know, putting yourself at risk when you're on the road and you've had a drink you're also putting uh, eastern uh, innocent bystanders at risk and you know i don't really want my staff having to be out on the highways during this period cutting people out of cars especially if it's just because of uh, alcohol related driving candles see a lot of candles at Christmas, uh, a lot of scented cam candles. Uh, and again, um, with, with the candles, a lot of them do come with their own holders now, but certainly, you know, you, you want a good sturdy holder for the candle. So as it burns down, it's not pouring hot wax over things. And, uh, you know, that, that can get in then and cause a, a short circuit if it's on an electrical appliance. So make sure that we, we do that. Make sure that they're out of reach of children and pets uh, so they don't get knocked over. Keep them away from anything that can burn. So, you know, your Christmas decorations, the, the trailing tinsel, you know, make sure they're well away from that. Nothing can fall on them and catch fire. And then make sure that if you're leaving the room, especially when you're going to bed or you're leaving the house, that you extinguish the, the candles and that'll keep, uh, keep everybody safe. And uh, I guess lastly from me, really, in terms of safety tip, tips is the, is the Christmas trees. And we've got the real trees and we've got the, um, you know, uh, the, the fake, if you like, manufactured trees. Um, a lot of them now are built to uh, safety standards. So generally um, are not catching fire. But remember, you've got electrical lights on them. They can catch fire. Uh, various... Um, decorations that all add to the fire load so first of all don't put any lighted candles on your christmas tree um, with your real christmas tree it's really important to to give it a little bit of water to keep it sort of moist and stop the needles from falling off and drying out because when they dry out that's when it becomes a higher fire risk um, so you know again um it's important where you look and position it, keep it away from heat, any naked flames. Um, we've already said about the, the, the candles. And again, with your lights before you're leaving home uh, or going to bed, it's a good idea to turn your lights off or have them on a timer so they're going to actually go off and they're not uh, on all night um, where they could potentially uh, overheat. Um, so, yeah, those are a few of our uh, safety tips. Again, I'd say... Um, we do have some more on, our, on, this, on the town website, so okitopes.ca backslash holiday safety. You can find all these um, safety tips there. And again, uh, please go and take a look at our Twitter accounts. There's always, throughout the year, there's always good safety tips, but also some, you know, um, give you a good insight of what's happening at the fire department. And uh, certainly I posted a few things there yesterday. Um, but the main thing at the moment is our countdown uh, to Christmas. You'll get some safety tips and a little bit of fun from all of our firefighters. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. Uh, you have a great rest of your day and Merry Christmas. And the same to you. Like again, I say thanks for the opportunity for doing this. Uh, we really appreciate your support.